Hi everyone, we're back to Children's Mental Health Week and I want to talk about friendships and maybe even touch on bullying and how we can help our children avoid, reduce the risk of, of being bullied or being the bully. Um, how do you talk to your children about friendships? Do you talk to your children about friendships and how to make friendships? Because I noticed in my childhood, and, and I'm going back some, I won't say the years, but I'm going back some years now, and we were kind of just, we, we had our friends, the streets we, were, we grew up in, we had our friends, you know, the parents lived next to each other or in the same street, and we'd go to each other's houses and we'd play, and we just naturally connected with the children that we wanted to play with and, and the ones that sometimes we were kind of forced to play with and I do remember liking and disliking children but I wondered if children have the same opportunities now and do we need to teach more about how to make healthy friendships so I'm kind of guessing that we do because of the society and the culture we're in with social media and and um, xbox and things like that because we, our children aren't spending as much time outside connecting with other children. I think fear of what could happen to them also stops us parents allowing children out. Children want to go out to play. Um, we used to play all the time. We used to go out to the park. We, we had a, a pool in the summer that we'd go down from the age of eight. We'd go down on our own and swim all day long. We, my mum maybe, maybe would have come down with lunch for us and that's as, as much as she would have seen us. But friendships have changed. And... With the introduction of, of social media and children getting on social media a lot younger than they should, um, I don't think children are learning how to be in healthy friendships. And I hear a lot of children who will say to me, I've got, I've got best friends. And then they tell me how horrendous they speak to each other. They call each other names and they're mean to each other and they're rude. But that's okay, because that's what they say is acceptable. And I don't truly understand why that kind of behaviour is acceptable. But if you do look at the role models we've got these days on television from for our children, that is how they speak to each other. They're mean, they are rude to each other, they're quite obnoxious, and it's acceptable. So we really are more in need of teaching children friendship skills than ever. Now, let, let's move into that bullying side because how easy is it now to bully somebody with social media and it happens in schools obviously it happens on the streets it happens over social media it is now accessible 24 hours a day seven days a week and on a multitude of platforms so how can you teach your children about friendship skills? What do you know about friendship skills? And I think that's important to understand what your take on friends is. Mine is, you don't need best friends, you need good friends. And good friends don't use you, they don't speak to you like that. I think this best friends idea is to have somebody close to you, but we don't always look for the good things in them. So I'm going to put it back to you this week. And I, I, I'd like you to consider... How are you talking to your, your children about friends? And, and what how what sort of skills are you role modelling with your friends? So it is an important part of growing up, making friendships and connecting with people. And, and social media is stopping that. So if you do have any questions, if you've got any opinions, if you, if you want to just um, let off steam, just get in touch. Have a good week. Bye.